Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's other topic, and it's a topic that I wanted to speak on from the other day, but I just kept getting caught up with other stuff for DeAndre Hopkins, Lamar. We know as a fan base that Patrick Queen is gone. I, I think that um fans get so enamored with what the team has always done instead of being realistic, right? Um, and I'm going to say this so that people don't misconstrue where I'm going with this. When it comes to Patrick Queen in entirety, right? I was one of the people that weren't that wasn't su- super super big on him. I thought he was missing a lot of tackles previously. I thought that he was a liability at certain times. I felt like the Ravens were using him wrong. That's my biggest thing. I I felt that he was doing those things because he was being asked to be a middle linebacker, and I never felt that he was a middle linebacker. I felt like they were using him out of position, and I felt that uh, once they uh, would use him in his proper position, he would flourish. But you know the Ravens, they like drafting people and putting him in different areas. That's what they do. So, you know, here comes... Roquan, they put him in his natural position, uh, queen, and he flourishes right before our eyes. Um, But I'm happy. I'm happy for him. Let me make sure y'all understand this, too. I'm happy he flourished because that means wherever he goes, he's going to get paid. He's going to be probably a foundational piece in another defense. But this is where we're at as a Baltimore Raven team. And I want y'all to understand where I'm coming from. Because some fans are like, they, they call me delusional, but they're, they're rooted in delusion. Once you paid Roquan Smith the most money at the linebacker position in the history of the NFL, trading queen was automatically signed, sealed, delivered. Then and there, there was no other course of action. What are you thinking they're going to do? Put, pay both linebackers that type of money? And you think Queen doesn't think he deserves after the season he had last year? Top end linebacker money? <laughs> no, he's not going to get it here. And I want him to get his money. Now, listen, I am the, I'm, the, I'm the last person you'll ever call a hater. Queen has proven himself to be a top linebacker in the NFL. The thing is... <clears throat> This team has already paid $100 million to a linebacker. What is going to be if you're going to pay $90 million or $80 million to another linebacker? They're just not going to tie up that much money on this team. This is the same team that let C.J. Mosley walk. So let's not act like they haven't done this stuff before. And C.J. Mosley, for years, has been an amazing uh, uh, middle linebacker or linebacker thus, thus far. So, I mean, you know, I I do I, I just don't know how people don't see that this is what's gonna happen. Um, some people will call me a queen hater and stuff like that. No, like I said, I like how he's grown, matured. The man could ball. The man could ball. And this is where me and some fans differ. He's proven his worth, and I want him to get paid. You know what the NFL stands for? Not for long. That means that man at probably one of the most physically taxing positions in football only has X amount of years to make as much dollars as physically possible. Because it's going to be good things like you can't play. Like physically, look at, and if anybody's like, oh no, Nitro, he could play so long. What, what happened to Patrick Willis? He was great. He was on pace to be looking like Ray Lewis, what happened? Did you leave early? What happened to the, the great linebacker? I forgot his name for the Carolina Panthers. How fast did he retire? The linebacker position is one of the most physically dominant positions in the entire NFL. It's constant collision from start to finish. If you're not colliding with all linemen, you're colliding with Running backs, or you're colliding with wide receivers. You're 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 colliding with six five, two hundred and forty pound tight ends. Like bro, crack blocks, all this different type of stuff. Their bodies 
are absolutely ran through pause by the end of their careers. So to me, I want Queen to get every dollar he can earn. Because once again, we're talking about generational wealth. I hope that brother can make every dollar he's, he could possibly make to support himself, his family, his kids, kids, kids. And the only way he's going to be able to do that if he's not on the Ravens. That is just fact. And look, and, I, and I've said this before, and I'm going to say this too. Because I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Because some people um, mis misconstrue where some fans are coming from or where their angle is, right? If I have to choose for as great as he is, Patrick Queen or DeAndre Hopkins, who do you think I'm picking? Hmm. Who do you think that I'm picking? Oh. It should be a no-brainer. I'm picking DeAndre Hopkins over a queen. Oh. We have so many pieces on defense right now, and we are offensively depleted. We need more weapons, right? So I would pick him over queen. Okay, that's number one. If I'm if I'm stuck in a position between queen and Mike Evans. Who do you think I'm picking? Oh. Especially now that their linebacker of the Bucks wants to be out. Oh. And they might just let him go. Oh. And hold up. On top of that, that means they'll be in the market to pay another linebacker a, a good a, a, a good contract so he can get generational wealth. Oh. Come on now. It's a no-brainer. I'm picking Mike Evans. <laughs> Queen gets to go to a team where he can lead the defense, get paid enormous amounts of money, um, against a team that's had amazing defenses throughout its history. You know where I'm coming from? He can go there and do that. It's rife with defensive culture. But I'm not picking Queen over Mike Evans or DeAndre Hopkins. It's not happening. I'll even go a step further. If, you, if a team was willing to take Queen for a third or a second, Right? Y'all telling me y'all want to take it? If that if that second turn into Quentin Johnson, y'all want to take it? Y'all want to take it? Y'all want to take it? You see what I'm trying to say? So I'm not hating. No, 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 no. That's why I wanted to touch on this. I wanted you to understand exactly where I'm coming from. Queen has proved himself to be an amazing NFL elite linebacker, and I'm happy for him. But he's on a team with a linebacker that's just made absolutely bank, okay? And he's also on a team that has offensively struggled the last couple years, not so much in production, but in um, but in um, production. Yeah, more production from from the wide receiving core. So when you're looking at you know um. Uh, what does a team need? There's something called of having too much of one thing. And the Ravens can't have, they're not, they don't have the luxury of having an abundance at one, at, 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 a, at numerous defensive positions anymore. We, we need, we need corners. Uh, you might be able to turn that pick for queen into a corner. Uh, we don't need no more safeties. My God, we need no more safeties. <laughs> We don't need no more safeties, but you get where I'm coming from. So now, even even with um, dime packages, right? He's on the field less. He's on the field less because you're running with you're running Roquan a whole bunch of safeties and two corners, or maybe three corners, Ro, uh, Roquan and, and a safety. You get where I'm coming from? Like it's just, bruh. So that's what I'm saying. It's just not fitting to probably give him that money. Now, do I want him to get paid? Yes, I want that brother to make as much money as possible. I, I, you know, a lot of these guys leave this game broken, not just physically, but mentally, because I don't know if any of you have ever went to um, physical therapy when you have to rehab your back, rehab your knee, rehab your spine, or rehab your neck. Rehab your absolute cloud of mind. Like, bro. <laughs> like, yo, y'all really don't understand, man. Listen, take it from me. I, when I blew up my Achilles 
right? One day I'm gonna post pictures on y'all gonna be like, Nitro look like that, yeah, I was, I was slim, fine, and on time, boy. <laughs> Point guard, looking good. Blew out the Achilles, rehab. Then blew out the knee, more rehab. Then re-injured the knee again, more rehab. After the amount of time, you just, <laughs> and these guys, and mind you, that's basketball, where it's more quickness, shiftiness, explosion, stopping on a dime. They got to do that while running into another human being running at full speed. It's, um, listen, they're crash test dummies. You get where I'm coming from? That's what the linebacker position pretty much is. Imagine your body being in multiple car crash, car crashes uh, uh, in one day. 12, 15 times in one day. And then you have to rehab and get your body ready to do it again the very next week. And now they added on an extra game. So there's another extra week that you got to do it. And now they're going to have games even earlier, right? Where you can have it, where you have to get your body up and ready for that. Instead of the six days to get ready for it, they got to get it ready up for that in four days. And you got some, some teams, if you're a popular team, got to do it quick, multiple times Thursday night football. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, this is difficult. This is actual football. This is the crux of the situation. That's why you'll hear me say, look, I hope he goes off the greener pastures. I hope he gets everything that he's worked hard for. I think he's a great um, linebacker. But once the Ravens signed that enormous contract for Roquan Smith, which, look, Roquan's been good for the defense and everything, it was already done. You know it was going, there was no way they're going to be able to que keep Queen because Queen outpriced himself pretty much. If he was trash and just whatever, they like, oh, you know, stay for this $5 million a year or stay for this $4 million a year. No. You think Queen wants $4 or $5 million a year? No. He's probably going to want 10 12 15 a year. Maybe even more. And that's just not what the, listen, I'll tell you this right now. If the Ravens pay Queen that, Ritz Roquan, right? Then money was never the issue because, once again, they have to pay Lamar. They got to pay Lamar. And on top of it, they still got to get more weapons. So that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't make sense. It would go against what they're trying to do now. It's just bad timing, wrong team. It is what it is, but at the end of the day, I want to say that Queen has turned out to be an amazing player, an exciting defensive player to watch, and I hope that brother gets every single dollar he has earned for the Ravens or off the Listen, once a Raven, always a Raven. This is part of the business. Sometimes you can't keep everybody. So if he goes somewhere else, I hope he's going there to get paid. I hope he's going there to start and be an absolute star. And I hope he gets everything that he's worked hard for and earned throughout his career. Because like I said before, the NFL stands for not for long. He has to gain as much money as possible, as quickly as possible. Because after a certain amount of time, there's no other way that they make money. Y'all know that, right? The average NFL career, I believe, is two and a half or three years. That's it. He's already past the norm. So he's not going to take a discount knowing that he's trying to set up himself for his future. Because remember, you have to be able to, to um, pay for all those doctor visits, visits. This is not the NBA. The NFL does not give them lifelong medical treatment. It's not how it works. I only give them medical treatment for three years after they retire. And then good luck, adios, and hopefully God blesses you along the way. So they got to pay those premiums. That's right. They got to pay those premiums. They got to they gotta, they gotta have those college funds ready for those kids. They got to have that house money and car money ready. That, that retirement money ready. A lot of people, when you're working, the last thing I'm going to say, when you're working, you know your retirement age. That 60-something years old, you're done. Your money should be able to last you all the way up till death, right? You and your wife, the kids are paid off. 
The house is paid off. The cars are paid off. Now it's just up to you and your woman to go travel and frolic on a beach somewhere in your on your golden years. You get where I'm coming from? That you're looking on doing. That starts from them. A lot of M NFL players after the age of 25. I want I want you to understand um, what that means because that's the average. Like I just said. Most NFL players come in at around 20 to 21 years old. If the if the NFL average for a career is two to three years, what does that make you? 24 to 25 years old. That's it. That means they have to find a different career path immediately at, at, off, off of something they've been training their entire life to achieve. So, yeah, call me a bad fan that I would want that man to acquire every single iota dollar that he possibly can that he can retire comfortably because that's the difference between me i want these players to be comfortable after they play i actually hold them in high regard for what they put their bodies through mentally and physically to play this game at the level that they play it week in and week out and it's being asked more of them now so i don't think queen's gonna be here so if I had to talk to him face to face and say, hey, look, man, thank you for giving your body and your, your mind up to the to the cause in Baltimore. I'm hoping that wherever they, they trade you, you know what I'm saying, you get the bag. Because make no mistake about it, Patrick Queen has earned a bag. And that's another episode of the Wonderkin Show! <laughs> Thank you all for watching. You could be anywhere else in the world, but you hear me. You know I appreciate that. I want to reiterate that. Please do remember, it helps out the channel. Don't you want to help this face out? Don't you want to help this beautiful face out? Don't you want to do... Vogue! Come on, man. Help me out! <laughs> but no, please remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I love commenting with you guys. We comment all the time. Um, just be respectful to people's differing opinions, and we have no problems, okay? And if you would like to donate monetarily to this platform to help it grow, at the bottom of the screen is a QR code, okay, to a cash app. You can also find a cash app in every video that we'll be putting on this platform. Um, this, the name of it, Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show, okay? And also, in, in those descriptions of every video, you'll also find the Patreon for this platform that is now up, running, and going. <laughs> and we've already got nine patrons so y'all go out there and become a patron okay um also the patrons what they'll be getting is uh discord they'll have access to the wonderkin discord they'll have access to uh questions from subscribers which you'll see this week you'll see a video made specifically from the questions and the talk from those patrons and there'll also be giveaways for the upcoming merch that will be available under the wonderkin show so once again this is the wonderkin show this is your host nitro signing off and as always you guys knows my slogan peace and i am out of here like patrick queen will be soon get paid brother get paid yeah